I am at 19 Mile Brook Trail. Let's hike to the Carter Notch Hut. So a few minutes into the trail and I'm already to the seeing the beautiful brook. Just nice, very nice. Today is September 29th. The leaves are changing. There are a lot of people. It is a Sunday morning at 11.30. A lot of people on the road. Pretty, huh? Yes, just beautiful. Bridge was uh, 1.18 miles in. This is a moderate hike because of these sections, but I actually love how you get a kind of easy section in between. Like, look up there, can you see that? Big rock. I'm gonna say glacial erratic. And some more. Really cool. Ah, that feels so much better. Why didn't I take the sweater off like a mile ago? I really wanted to go that way and see Mount Height and Carter Dome and then go down to the hut. Uh, but I decided to just take the direct route today. You can just get a sense of that angled descent of the shape of the mountain and the wind swooping down overhead. As you go down and around this last little bit, you look down on one of the ponds and across to big rocks and a mountain. It's, it's amazing.
Outer dome that way. Hut point one. Yes. Wow. See it. There is a hut. There it is. I feel like I've seen this so many times on the internet and I'm actually here. Thinking right here you can really get a sense of the layout because you have wildcat and beyond. So this ridge line of mountain and then here's one of the bunk houses, the first bunk. So right behind this is the main hut. So you have the hut here and then going up again is Carter Dome. Helicopter drop-off pad where the helicopter can drop supplies for the hut. Uh, there's the bathroom. Wow, sinks. Wow, running water. Um, so these it's a rectangular building and the two at the ends have one, two, three, four, five, six. Sandwich between those end ones that have six are two more rooms that each have four. I think this one. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see Carter Dome through the skylight. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take the bag off. I <laughs> like I am flying. I'm like, what? The caretaker Eliza said there are only seven people staying here tonight and that we can each have our own bunk room. So they don't, you don't cut trees without it. No, it's not part of our permit with the Forest Service either. Oh. Right before the National Forest was created, so it was different, a different landscape. Stone one, 1914. And it's still the stone building today. Like this is the building from 1914. Can use the cast irons here on the stove. Great, um, Look, that stove is impressive. Yes, so just assume that it's always hot. So okay. Just make sure you use um, pot holders. Okay. This pot, big pot here always has boiling water in it. Wow. So go ahead and use that for anything you need. Okay. In terms of turning it on and off, the left knobs are for the front, and sometimes you just have to blow on them a little bit to get them to catch. Okay. Yeah, hot soapy. Hot uh, rinse and cold bleach. Okay. And then dishes actually get put away while they're damp. Some pancake mix here. This is uh, like Kodiak cinnamon oats. I think it's sort of a whole thing. Dump that in. Okay. In this bag I have eggs. I have to dump that in. And then after that I just need water or milk. I need water. Go, go. Mm. The stove in the kitchen is so hot and I just walked out the door and it's so cold. Someone said it's 44 degrees and it's fine. It just feels really cold after standing next to that mega hot oven cooking. Okay, it is time to get out of the bed and go look for a sunset and some stars. That I am hopeful for clear skies tonight, so I'm going to scout that out now. I 
am here at Pond 2, the small empty pond. Looking up at the wildcats, southwest is in front of me. So if these clouds blow away, and if I got any look at any leftover Milky Way, because it's the end of Milky Way season, it would be up there. The sunset time has come and gone. There was no color in the sky. Nothing. The skies have cleared a little bit and I could see one planet. I saw two airplanes and a satellite. Almost 8 o'clock. The sky is clearing. in and I'm on the top bunk where it is nice and warm and I'm going to curl up in my sleeping bag and call it a night. Good night. Well, it's 7.10 a.m. and the sun rose at 6.39, but it rose behind the mountains over there. This whole boulder field is called the Ramparts. When it first came out, it looked impossible and dangerous, but even for me, it turns out there's plenty of ways to get around out here. And I'm going down these steps to breakfast. Now the sun is up. Uh, I'm eating breakfast. Okay, I'm ready to make my breakfast. I have the hot water in that big pot. I have like a coffee packet of beef. Good to go brand. Um, it's like, it says granola, but I think of it like kind of like oat milk. Carter and I chat. It's been great.
That is so beautiful. It's so quiet I can literally hear the leaf falling because as it falls it touches other leaves and then settles to the ground. This is really beautiful here, about two miles down. I was down at the trailhead down there yeah. and I stopped to look at my phone because I have a map on it. Make sure I was going the right way and all of a sudden I saw a moose. Wow. Male moose about 50 feet from me. Oh my god. He didn't threaten me or... Let's see your video. I'll video your videos. I have a feeling I'm not going to see it. I'm so going moose, down the trail. Yeah, Moose was going down the trail that way. He was way. going down the trail. I was coming up right at the trail. But you did not intersect because... No, we did not. But he, he turned. He ended up coming up this way, and I oh. thought, well, that's good. He's going a different way. And then I realized the trail that I was taking is the same direction that he Which was is going. this trail. Right. That's why I'm warning you. I don't know Thank where you. he is down there or anything. I just Exciting. wanted to warn you. Good okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not gonna see the most. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay, so I've not seen the moose on either of these bridges, water crossings here, nor at this intersection that's part of Dome Trail. Point six miles on my watch, so it's probably more like three miles. So I probably have about a mile to go, guessing, but starting to feel like the end. I'm a little sad. Like the brook, I'm going down, 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 coming to the end. That is it, I am back down. It is 12.30 in the afternoon, 4.86 miles for me, back down to 1500 altitude. A great trail, great hut, nice trip. That's it, thanks for watching.